Can't you see that I'm praying? I don't think you are praying. You are not praying. You are only shaking your head. We really thank God for mommy. Uh, uh, yes, we, we thank God for mommy. If not for civilization, I know the way our forefathers handled their wives. Kelsh. You are too local and traditional. That is why you are not romantic. I need a male child. Period. You are wrong. Yes, you are. Ma, what about the baby? Thank you. How is your day? Fine, thank God. <sighs> I had a busy day in the office. Several counseling sessions. Well done. Thank the you. Lord dear. is your strength. Amen. And uh, dear, yes. I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Is there any difference between divorce and separation? Mm. I don't know what you have in mind. But I think there's a difference between divorce and separation. Okay, uh, let me narrate what a woman came to tell me in the office today. Okay. Maybe it will help you to know the answer you will give to my question. All right. This woman came into the office beaming with smiles. I did not know that the woman was going through hair in her marriage until she started narrating her ordeal. Mm -hmm. She and her husband got married as unbelievers. But three years into the marriage, the lady got converted. But the husband refused to surrender his life to the Lord Jesus. So the enemy started attacking their marriage. According to her, she was becoming more irritating to the husband every day such that the husband started beating her The husband turned her to a punching bag. According to her, the man beat her every other day. She told me that she went to see some marriage counselors who counseled her to show more love to the husband, to be more submissive, and to continue to pray.
But the more she prayed, the more this man was beating her. <laughs> According to her, in fact, she told me that most times when this man beat her, she finds herself in the hospital. On a particular day, the man started to beat her again. Then, she passed out. Princess. <laughs> <laughs> You think you can talk to me here? Yeah? In this house! Come on, stand up! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! Follow me! That is serious. Mm. She was in coma for three days in the hospital until God brought her back. Hmm. Her parents got to know about it when she was on admission. And when eventually she was discharged, they requested that their daughter come back to stay with them in their house at least for some time. Because they don't want this wicked man to kill her. Yeah. She told me that the reason why she came to seek counsel from me was because the marriage counselors she knows are divided in their opinion about the right thing for her to do. Hmm. Some said marriage is for better for worse and that divorce is not allowed at all in a Christian marriage. Hmm. Why others said, even though divorce is forbidden in Christian marriage, that separation is allowed. So, my dear wife, as a respected Christian marriage counselor, what is your opinion? Uh, my dear, I have a boss in this marriage counseling. I want my boss to answer first. Uh, so, would you like to call your boss or something? No. I don't need to call him because he's sitting right in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are my boss. I want my boss to answer first. <laughs> ah. Can you hear my wife? I know what to do. I want our viewers around the world to contribute to this matter. We want to hear your views. We like you to please make your own contribution about divorce and separation because you may not know that somebody may need that your comment and it will change his life or somebody's marriage for good but please we like to beg you don't take god out of this discussion in fact we appreciate if you can back up your comment with scriptures if possible we like you to do three things. Number one, subscribe to our channel. Number two, click the notification bell. 
they are free actually. Then number three, go to the comment section under this video and make your contribution on this matter. My wife and I will be waiting for your contributions. We will be waiting for your comments. See you next Friday. God bless you. Bye. Where true love is shared